In this video, we're going to have this gate destroy itself after a couple seconds, or, you know, we could do a few things after a couple seconds. So really the idea here is um, there's a gate, and when we go over here, you know, we do something else, and a few seconds pass, and then it's gone. It's as simple as that. So in Assets, Scripts, right-click, Create, C-sharp script, we're going to call it Timer Destroy and open that up. So we need a value for how long we're going to wait. That's going to be a float, like a, a decimal number. It's going to be called interval, I guess. And what we could do is to destroy ourselves after that long. Whoops. Interval is just this. Okay, so destroy, we're giving it ourself the game object that timer destroy is attached to and the interval is how long. You can also do this. This will just destroy it immediately but this one will wait. So we could do that and if we attach it to this timer destroy oh, maybe I need to make this public maybe I need to There we go. So now that it's a public variable, we can change it in here. I can make it two seconds, say. And now after two seconds, this gate is going to disappear, destroy itself. But we want to do more than that. Uh, I don't want to just destroy it. Maybe I want to do something else after two seconds. So I'm not going to be cheap and use start. I'm going to use update. Okay. So what we're going to do in update is if interval is greater than zero, reduce it by a little bit of time. And if then it is zero or less than zero, we want to do something. So if interval is greater than zero, then interval will decrease by, that's what minus equal is, decrease by time dot delta time. That is this is how long it's been since the last update. Update happens a lot every frame. This is how long since the last update. We're also going to do an else, so it's kind of like plain English. If this, do this. But if not this, like else, if this or else, you know, if not, we'll do this, this one. Um, I'm going to disable myself so this will stop update from happening enable this false and here we can do anything we can make the gate explode we could you know destroy it I guess you know we could do it just like that like before um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rigid body Oops, got to be a capital R. A rigid body to the gate. So, we'll save it and we go back in here. So, we have our timer destroy. I'm going to set it to three seconds now. And from before, I can click and shoot blobs. That's blob shoot or projectile shoots from another video. So, I can shoot things, right? I'm going to shoot one at the gate. It doesn't work. But after those three seconds passed, now I can shoot at the gate. And see, I added that rigid body, so it, was, it falls away. 